Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at how we find any of the terms, in this case, let's call it the kth term, k could be any number, of a binomial expansion. And in order to help us figure that out, I went ahead and expanded a binomial expansion, x plus y to the n power, and so I drew every one of the terms on the board, starting with the first few, and then how a series would end. So here you can see that we, to get the numerical coefficient, we solve for n over 0, x to the n, y to the 0, n over 1, x to the n minus 1, y to the 1, n over 2, x to the n minus 2, y to the 2, and so forth, all the way to the end where we end up with n over n, x to the n minus n, y to the n. Of course, n minus n is 0, x to the 0, that x would then disappear, it just would be a 1. But notice that if we want to find the k term, how do we do that? And let's go ahead and look at the third term. So if we're going to find the third term, notice that the number underneath here is a 2. It's 1 less than 3. And the number up here is 1 less than 3. And the number up there is 1 less than 3. So from that, we can conclude, if we want to find the k term, that we're going to find this. This will be n divided by 1 less than k or k minus 1. It's not divide by, I shouldn't say that. It's n over k minus 1, and we know how to expand that using factorials. And then we have x to the n power minus a number 1 less than k, so minus k minus 1. And then the second term, that would be y to the k minus 1. This is the general equation or the general formula to find the k term of any binomial expansion. So you can see that here, again, let's, let's write this out. So when we end up with the numbers n and k minus 1, this is equal to n factorial divided by k minus 1 factorial divided by, and that would then be n minus k minus 1, put parentheses around it, factorial. So this is equal to that. That would then be the numerical coefficient. Then we have x to the n. n would be the exponent to which we expand the binomial minus a number 1 less than k and then y to the exponent 1 less than the number k. And that's how we find any term in any binomial expansion. So you probably want to see an example of that. So let's do one more video to show you an example of how to find the k term of any binomial expansion. 